Dan Albert, are we there yet, the American automobile past, present, and driverless. Dive into the captivating world of automobiles and how they transformed America in a Are We There Yet? The American Automobile Past, Present, and Driverless by Dan Albert. This book will take you on a historical journey detailing the birth of American automobiles, the rise of makers like Henry Ford, and the impact of cars on the nation's economy, infrastructure, and culture. Explore how advancements in technology are leading us towards a future of driverless cars, and the profound consequences this evolution will have on American society. With a blend of historical insights, personal anecdotes, and striking observations, this book is an engaging read for automobile enthusiasts and anyone interested in America's ever-changing relationship with cars. The Automotive Revolution Dan Alberts narrates the transformation of American lifestyle caused by the automobile. Highlighting its impact on roads, homes, malls, and more. Despite the threat of climate change, Albert notes that Americans won't let go of cars but instead create electric and driverless versions. His historical and comical approach offers insights into how the American car culture was created, shaping a driverless future. Forbes applauds his informative style while Keith Gesson describes him as a car historian with a driver's passion. Publishers Weekly deems this book perfect not only for gearheads but also for drivers. The Impact of Driverless Cars on American Culture Cars have played a major role in shaping American culture in the 20th century, and the driverless car will continue to do so in the 21st century. Author Albert emphasizes the profound change the end of driving will have on American lifestyles. Parents teaching their children to drive will become a thing of the past, and the car-centric landscape built over the last century will transform. The arrival of driverless cars will drastically affect the organization of American life. The Rise of American Automobiles In his book, Albert traces the emergence of the U.S. automobile in the 1890s, listing the experimental cars put forth by various inventors. By 1899, Americans realized that cars would revolutionize daily life. While European elites saw cars as status symbols, Henry Ford's emphasis on affordability appealed to rural Americans. According to Albert, Ford's vision was instrumental in the mass adoption of automobiles in America. Today, as new technologies emerge, we may be on the brink of another radical shift in transportation. How Cars Shaped American Culture The book traces the history of the automobile in America and its impact on the culture. It tells the story of Alfred Pritchard Sloan, who became GM CEO in 1923 and transformed the company's focus to making money rather than just cars. Sloan hired innovator Harley Earl, who defined the style of U.S. cars for the next 50 years. The book highlights that the automobile revolutionized consumer lending and brought common indebtedness to consumers. The government spent billions building roads, and by 1929, there was a car for every 4.5 people. The book also discusses the construction of the National Interstate and Defense Highways Act in 1956, the largest government undertaking in U.S. history, costing $116 billion in public money. The book brings critical insights into the social cost of the public infrastructure that the car culture has created. The End of American Cars Albert contemplates the potential end of traditional American cars and the emergence of driverless vehicles. He sees the safety features of modern cars as a dream of a crash-worthy car, but also notes that 35,000 to 40,000 people die in car accidents every year. Despite this, he expresses a strange nostalgia for the womb-like safety features of modern cars. The Future of Cars The younger generation doesn't care about cars, according to Albert, due to social platforms reducing the need for real-time connections. Detroit needs to determine whether it's a dislike of driving, shopping, or a lack of need for cars altogether. Albert mourns the loss of adventure and creative expression that comes with driverless cars, as people will no longer have the emotional connection to their vehicles. Albert's Parochial Romanticism In an insightful and gripping historical narrative, 
the author Albert shows signs of odd parochial romanticism that conflicts with his intellectual bent. He talks about driverless cars, ignoring their fundamental problems and not accepting that they are not functional yet. However, Albert is a talented writer that passionately writes about American culture and automobiles. The book shares some similarities with Sarah A. Seo's Policing the Open Road, Gretchen Soren's Driving While Black, and Paul and Gracia's Engines of Change. In Are We There Yet? Dan Albert brilliantly showcases the rich history of automobiles in America and their pivotal role in shaping the nation's economy, infrastructure, and culture. Chronicling the journey from the early experiments of pioneers like Henry Ford to the modern era of emerging self-driving technology, this book provides essential glimpses into the past and the future of transportation. As Americans stand on the precipice of a driverless car revolution, the book raises crucial questions about personal connection with cars, and how the end of driving as we know it will impact the way they live. With a unique mix of historical facts, cultural commentary, and personal reflections, this book offers readers a comprehensive view of the American automobile's past, present, and driverless future.